Okay, for this video today, I'm going to tie a foam parachute hopper. Uh, I tie a lot of different hopper flies for the summertime. I like to have a large variety. It just seems that some days they hit certain patterns more than others. So this is a foam parachute hopper. I tie, put a lot of foam on this fly to make sure that it floats well. And uh, I generally tie this on a size 8, size 8 two by long dry fly hook. So um, we'll get started here. <clears throat> First thing I got to do is I'm going to use my use my thread and get it fastened to the hook. Just going to use a cream colored uh, thread. Sometimes I'll use a, uh, a black thread but for today we'll, I like to use the cream. It blends in a little bit better with the colors of the fly that we're tying. <clears throat> so I get the thread back here to the back of the fly get that snipped off and on this fly we're going to use two different colors of foam I'm going to use yellow and gray you can use a number of different colors sometimes I like to use tan which actually probably imitates the color of a grasshopper a little bit better but this one I'm going to go with yellow and gray a little bit brighter color maybe a little bit more attractive so I'm going to tie that in here to the back holding those two pieces of foam together that tied in and nice tight wraps once I get that on there as good as I can then I try to just kind of use the thread to work the rest of that foam down a little bit not really going to need that okay now that I've got that fastened down I'm going to take my thread up to the front here up towards the front of the hook Right about there and we're going to take this yellow foam and we're going to wrap the yellow foam as I said before this is a this fly has a lot of foam on it I prefer to use that it helps the fly float a little bit so I'm going to take that foam and wrap it around the hook and you can wrap it as tight or loose as you would like I like to go relatively tight because if I go loose it gets too bulky so nice tight wraps working up towards the front here And once I get it up to where my thread was at, notice I left quite a bit of space up at the head end of my fly because there will be a little bit of work to be done up there. So once I get that on there, whoop, quite a few tight wraps to hold that, that foam right there, the yellow foam, in place. Okay, snip that as low as I can get it. Got a little flyer over here I'm going to snip off. All right, next step, I'm going to take the foam, I'm going to fold it over the top, and right where it hits, I'm going to tie it off. So essentially we've got a yellow body with kind of a gray foam back. And once I've got that tied off, then we're going to run this foam around the hook and give the, uh, the fly a head. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to push that foam into the eyelet a little bit. And when you do that, you'll notice that there is a little indentation right there on the foam. That way I know exactly where to put my little needle nose scissors, poke through the hook, and I can run it right through the eye. Okay, once I've done that, fold that foam down underneath, and we will tie that off. Okay, don't need this portion, so again, I'm going to snip that, try to stay away from my thread here. But I'm going to snip that as tight as I can to the hook. All right. Okay, the next step is I'm going to tie in the, uh, the wings of this fly. And what I've used here is I've got uh, a turkey feather, turkey wing feather actually, and I put fly head cement on it, a little flex coat on there, just to kind of add to the durability of the fly. Sometimes if you don't have turkey wing and you have the other synthetics, sometimes I'll use what's called web wing, which also works nice. If I use the web wing, I will also put the flex coat on it as it helps increase its durability. This stuff has a tendency to, uh, to start to flare and fray apart after a few fish. So this one, though, we're going to use turkey, turkey wing. I'm going to lay that right on top of the fly and 
tie that in. Okay, my first wrap will be somewhat loose till I get it all the way around. And I'll slowly tighten her down. Okay, got my wing on there. I don't need this, so I'm going to snip that off. There we go. All right, so now we've got the wings on there. The next thing that we will be putting on is the rubber legs. So I'm gonna use black rubber legs. You can use any color you like. Sometimes I use actually green, sometimes I'll use white. But for this one, we're gonna use black. So I'll snip rubber legs about that long, maybe inch and a, inch and a half, inch and a quarter. And uh, notice there's two of them, they're attached together. I like to tie them on that way because they're easier to split when I put them on the hook. So about splitting the rubber leg right in half as far as lengthwise, this side should be the same length as this side. I put about three loose wraps, they won't be very tight wraps, on there just like that. So then I can take this, hold the rubber legs up, run my scissors right through there, pull up and now I've got four rubber legs. I grab this side, I grab this side, and I just pull. And I just put them right where I want them on the sides of the hook. Okay, well now that I've got that done, the next step is going to be going to be to tie in the uh, parachute. So the parachute that I prefer to use, you can use a number of materials, but I like to use white poly yarn. This, uh, this is an excellent uh, floating material. You put a little gink on this stuff and it'll, it'll float for a long time. So and it, works, it works really nice when you're tying. It's easy to work with. So take my poly yarn, I'll cut about maybe an inch long strip. You could probably cut a little shorter if you wanted. Take that inch long strip and I will place it right on top of where I tied in my, my rubber legs, right in half. Basically split the difference between these two lengths and first wrap somewhat loose. I'll tighten it up, make a few fairly tight wraps on it. And then I want to bring these two pieces together. I take my thread and I'm going to try to wrap around that post. This is creating the, the parachute or the post. As I do that, I'm going to try to get a nice, pretty tight wrap here. Once I've got six or seven good wraps, then I can kind of let go. But I was wrapping with my left hand, which is a little more awkward. And once I feel like I've got it where I want it, then I can just get a number of good wraps on there. I like to really get a lot of wraps on here because one thing we don't want is we don't want for that post to start to slip around the hook and slide all over the place when you're fishing with it. So I like to get it good and fastened. All right, and then we've got our parachute. Now the last step is going to be to tie in some hackle. So we're gonna wrap, wrap the hackle around this post. I'm going to use grizzly hackle. I actually sometimes We'll prefer to use a, a brown, a, a darker brown hackle, but the grizzly will work nice for this gray. So I'll do that first. I'm going to get rid of this fuzzy stuff off of this hackle. Don't want that stuff. Just want the good fibery hairs off, off of the hackle. Take that and we're going to tie this in right exactly where the post is too. So I'm going to do it on this side as I can see it. So my wraps again will be pretty much in the same spot to wrap this hackle in. Okay, so there we've got it tied in. I've got a little bit of a sticker out here. I'm going to snip it. There we go. I'm just going to take this hackle and I'm going to wrap around the post. Now since this is not a large, you know, this is not not a mayfly. We're, we're, we're mainly putting this, this hackle on here uh, to actually help the fly uh, help its floatability and so that it writes itself in the water a lot more. So you can wrap quite a few wraps on there until you feel like you've got good, good looking hackle base. I think that's all I'm gonna do right there. This is the hardest part of this fly. We're at the point where we're ready to be done. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to tie off this hackle right there where all of the other materials have been tied on. If that becomes too difficult, what you can do 
is I will pull this hackle up here towards the eyelet and then wrap the thread, just bring the thread around the, the head of this hook one time up to the eye and tie it off. I found that, that, that a lot of times the hackle will tend to break on the first couple of fish that you catch. So what I like to do is tie this hackle off right where it's already been tied in. So we're going to go for that. Sometimes you don't know how it looks until you're done tying it off. I think that's going to look just fine. So now I'm going to get my scissors right down in there. Try to only cut the hackle. There. Now the last step of this fly is going to be to whip finish it. And again, I'm going to whip finish right in the exact same spot that I just last tied on the hackle. So I gotta pull all that hackle back. I wanna get as much of it as I can. There. Oh, got the rubber leg in there, don't want that. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that one more time just to ensure that this does not come undone on me. There we go. Okay, so I can cut my thread. And we got a little bit of finishing to do here. For one, this fly the post is a little long. I like that. I, always, I, I tie the fly with the post a little long and then I can uh, modify it. So I'm going to grab the whole post, take my scissors and just snip it. Get it just how I'd like it. And then for the wing, of course the wing is pretty long. I am going to sh just shape that wing with my scissors. I like to cut a little, I like to cut it at like a triangle in the back. Uh, There we go. That, that turkey wing had a little bit of a curve to it, so it's not a perfectly straight back wing, but looks pretty good. So that is a version of the foam parachute hopper. Give you a couple of different looks at it. What it's going to look like from the bottom. Like I said, you can tie that with different colors, and sometimes that, with, like with tan foam, it looks really nice as well from the top. There it is. Like I said, this was a little bit curved. It kind of slides to the left, to the right a little bit, but still looks good. Sometimes if you get a longer turkey wing, you'll get a, a little nicer look on that back. But, so there it is. Foam parachute hopper.